video computer. What does the Amiga do for the video producer? We did a project uh, called Building Productive Workplaces that had, has in it some metaphors that we, we had to illustrate. We were able to, with the Amiga, combine um, certain softwares to animate the words and to create the image of snapshots. Capture full color images from flat art, photographs, logos, artwork. If you can see it, you can use it. You can use image processing software for special effects, changes to aspect ratios, and color correction. Mega image file formats are well standardized. This means you can move images from one software program into another. A customer came to me with the idea of creating a safety program around a car accident that happened at a site. He knew we had an Amiga computer and were capable of doing computer animations. He asked if we could recreate the car crash on the computer. Amiga software allows you to use images from most microcomputer formats. With an Amiga and a frame grabbing device, it's very easy and very simple to grab a full frame of NTSC video. It's just a question of freezing it and you have it. Work in up to 16 million colors with available Amiga-based boards and software. We're real happy here with the Amiga and what it's done for us and uh, elevated the look of our commercials tremendously. Three D animation gives illustration with punch. Every Amiga has proprietary custom chips. Uh, these enhance graphics, animation, audio, and file handling. Together they support powerful three D animation software. Logo animation like the one we just did, I think that it only took us about two hours to make the whole thing. They were pretty happy folks at the uh, TV station when they could put on the air something that they would have never been able to afford to do in a traditional environment. To create a 3D animation, you set a scene as if you were photographing it. With most 3D software, you stretch, combine, and mold basic geometric forms to model the objects in your scene. In an alternate method, you use spline curves instead of geometric forms for creating smooth shapes. Once you have your objects, you set up your camera and lights. The camera is the point of view from which you'll see the animation. You move the objects by creating paths for them, and you can test the animation by using wireframe. Later, you can render the objects with all lights and surfaces. Once the Amiga has rendered an animation in up to 4,096 colors, it can play it back at definable speeds of up to 30 frames per second or faster. This allows real-time transfers so your recorders are tied up for a minimum amount of time. Real-time playback speeds animation preview and development, as well as the client approval process. For a 16 million color animation, the computer renders each frame to a graphics board, then records it, one frame at a time, on a videotape recorder capable of single frame recording. The Amiga controls the transfer. So our decisions to use 3D graphics are basically to help our viewers get into our tapes so that they'll buy them. And so we decided that it's essential. We can't go into the industrial market with anything less than some kind of 3D effects.
The Amiga is a perfect platform for script development. Move from outline to treatment to script using any of a variety of word processors, including WordPerfect. Create storyboards by adding Amiga color graphics to your scripts. Using a graphic word processor such as ProWrite, you can easily format your scripts in columns and print out color storyboards in one pass. Manage your shots using a database. You can include images if you like. You can list your shots by site, by shooting day, by talent, or any way you want. The Amiga's proprietary custom chips help screen drawing functions. One direct result is smoothly scrolling titles. For the local commercials here at store, we use the character generation for titles, graphics, uh, tag screens for the name, the address, and phone numbers of the different clients. Fonts. A full range of fonts are available. Multiple sizes for each font. Fonts can be multicolored. And you can individually space the characters. You can stylize or animate the fonts. So the first thing I'll do is I will declare the line size. After I've declared the line size, what I'll then do is declare the font size. From there, I can scroll through the font styles within Pro Video Post. When I choose, or when I come up to the font style that I like, then I'll scroll through colors from this color palette. And from there, once I find the color that I like, I return, and then I can just start to type. Excellent overlay encoders are available, which allow you to place titles over video images. These provide a solid and clean RS-170A output, as you can see. Available effects include push, pull, fade, all types of wipes, reveals, rolls, crawls, and all at a full range of speeds. Here is a split-screen comparison of an Amiga title with one from a dedicated character generator costing much more. The Amiga is on top. The icon and menu-based software packages are easy to use. Editing capabilities include justification, cut and paste, and kerning. Would you have anything in chartreuse? Then, there's teleprompting. Systems such as this one from Video Arts turn your Amiga into a studio teleprompter. Talent can speak directly into the camera without glancing down at a script. This system can accept Amiga word processor text. Use the Amiga as a teleprompter when you need one. At other times, use it for something else, like graphics creation. The Amiga provides more value than a dedicated teleprompter. The Amiga offers a wide range of overlay encoders, called GenLocks. Available features include output to a wide variety of signals, including analog RGB, NTSC, SVHS, and PAL. The Amiga is hooked up into our post-production switcher through the GenLock board. Uh, it's timed to our system, uh, and we use it to edit with three-quarter SP, three-quarter, and half-inch. The Amiga has excellent video signal integration. Uh, the standard Amiga signal is already at video scan rates, interlaced, and at a 3 by 4 aspect ratio. This means that encoding it into a video signal doesn't distort the image. All necessary signals are brought to the Amiga's unique video slot. It includes many functions that otherwise would have to be provided by expensive outside equipment. A wide range of Amiga-based hardware and software is available. These will let you do everything from color control to real-time two-channel digital effects. For instance, with the Caligari software, we were able to have uh, a piece of map video come tumbling into the scene and come up to full screen and then make our transition to our live rolling video at that point. Capture multiple frames of motion video into the Amiga, manipulate or edit them digitally, then transfer the results back to video. The 
we've just begun testing the video toaster from NewTek and uh, have interfaced it into our Amiga. And I've been a, kind of a skeptic of uh, the ability of the Amiga to really handle all video applications. And I'm quite amazed. What does the Amiga do for the video producer? The Amiga handles all areas of production for us. Uh, it handles our, our audio interface with music, it handles our special effects, it handles our character generation. And with, uh, with our new uh, software that's just coming out, we find we can even use it as a quasi-digital switcher and frame store. Uh, it's, it's quite a fantastic machine. It looks like it's, uh, it's going to be the uh, video workstation of the future. There are a variety of Amiga-based editors, ranging from cuts only to AV roll systems. Amiga-based editors are software-based, as opposed to hardware-based dedicated equipment. This makes for a flexible and expandable system. Expanding most hardware systems beyond their machine capacity means replacing the editor itself. The Emilink system shown here allows you to expand easily, without needing to purchase a new editor or learning how to operate a new system. Software switchable between drop frame, non-drop frame, and mixed time codes, as well as 24 frames per second for source and record times. You can produce an edit list in a variety of formats, including CMX 216, CMX 3400, CMX 3600, Grass Valley 4.1 and 5.0, Convergence, AG800, and others. From storyboarding to graphics, from music to digital effects, from character generation to 3D animation, this video was produced on the Amiga. With an Amiga, you have control of your production. The fact that the Amiga is widely used by video professionals means that there's a wide range of available support. Demonstration and training tapes, books and regular columns in trade journals give up-to-the-minute reference for the Amiga-based videographer. Further support is available through Commodore Business Machines, third-party manufacturers, and your dealer. Use an Amiga to strengthen your production as well as your cash flow. See your nearest Amiga dealer or call this number now. Thank you.